Hello all, welcome to the YouTube lecture. In this session, we'll, we are learning about behavioral modeling case statement and an example on 4 is to 2 priority encoder. Using uh, case X statement, and uh, uh, we will just look into uh, case X statement, how different it is from case statement in the usage. So before uh, we proceed uh, with uh, the uh, execution or simulation, we will just learn how to write a priority encoder on the paper. Now we will look into the uh, priority encoder uh, code. So with priority and without priority, there are two kinds. Without priority um, is not much of difficulty that you face. Whereas with priority, uh, you need to take care of the unknown values. So here is a truth table. We have I am taking four is to two encoder just for simplicity. You can try the same thing for eight is to three. You have two four inputs, two outputs, and one valid output. So I have written the inputs like this, I0, I1, I2, I3, I0 being the most highest priority input, whereas I3 is least priority input. So when I0 is 1, irrespective of the other three inputs, your output should be 0, 0, and it's a valid output. And when your I1 is 1, and I0 should be compulsorily 0, then irrespective of I2 and I3, your output should be 0 on 1, 0 and 1, your valid output is 1. And you can you can uh, continue in the same way. And when I3 is 1, your all the most significant bits should be 0, 0, 0. Then only your output will be 1, 1. And that's a valid output. When no input is triggered or no input is logic 1, then it is output is 0, 0. And it is not a valid output. This is a truth table. Now we'll write the code for the same. Just remember one thing. Case, is, case statement is like a friend of a programmer as a beginner. Because case statement is just the duplication of the truth table whatever truth table is there the same thing i'll be bringing it in the case form just have a look module module priority encoder four is four underscore two i is my input of four bit out is output of two bit v is a valid output so what is uh, our input input is of four bits three down to zero i and output is 1 down to 0 out because output is of 2 bits and and one more output is there of single bit output v so these uh, outputs we are using uh, inside always block uh, hence especially output i'll be using inside the always block hence i should declare it also as reg don't forget to do it reg always at as it's a combinational logic circuit i'll put a star case you can begin case statement whole of the case statement it is treated as only single statement you can omit this begin or else let us keep it case so as we are having unknown x in the truth table so you should use x case x so what is the select line i is a select line on the basis of input we are declaring the output now 4 bit 4 bit i am writing for i not x x x 1 i not so i am reading it in this fashion in this fashion i3 i2 i1 i not just to have a similarity between uh, kind of mapping between truth table and the code so this is i not i not is one rest all the things are unknown irrespective of the other uh, things your output should be assigned with 2 bit of 0 0 then 4 tick b x x 1 0 in this case i1 is 1 i0 is 0 output should be assigned with 2 bits of 0 1 similarly x 1 0 0 i0 i1 are 0 i2 is 1 and i3 is unknown in that case 2 bits of 1 0 next is 1 0 0 0 output is 2 bits of 0 0 default case it's optional if you want you can cover or else you can limit omit it so let me cover the default case as 0 0 when no match is found default case is executed so here uh, my case statement is done so i end it with end case and then uh, uh, valid bit so what is valid bit? Uh, I am just uh, terminating the always block. I am outside the always block now. 
I use assign assign v is equal to i of 3 i of 2 odd width i of 1 odd width i of 0 end module this is a valid bit I am ending the module now you might uh, confuse between like why I have used a sign as it is in uh, data flow style so this is called a mixed style of uh, modeling wherein I am using always because of which it is a is a, is a behavioral style from always till end begin to end it's always uh, it's a, it's a always statement sequential block which I which we normally call it as behavioral style when I use assign it is called data flow style we are using combination of behavioral and data flow hence it is called as mixed style of design modeling normally in bigger projects we'll be having mixed style of design modeling there is no compulsion that you we need to use only single uh, um, style of modeling the same uh, Verilog code has been taken over here you can see that the, the, the truth table uh, and the code that I have written uh, the bits you need to re read it in the reverse way uh, just to match with truth table I, I just uh, try to do it uh, you can you can prefer in any new ways uh, one more clarification I want to provide here here I have not used a begin statement and end statement uh, case statement till end case it is treated a single statement in a sequential block hence when it when there is a single statement no uh, need to enclose the statements inside uh, begin and end hence I have not used so when end case happens so that's a termination of always block because there is no begin so you don't find the end so always block ends here and assign is outside the always block hence uh, it's a data flow style and this is a behavioral style combination of it is mixed style of design modeling and you cannot have a sign statement inside always that is one more thing you need to remember there are some restrictions while going for mixed style mixed design style of model you cannot write assign inside the always you cannot have instantiation inside always like that you need to follow now we'll take the same code in the Xilinx environment and we will check uh, the working of it I have taken a, a prior encoder in the Xilinx uh, environment I have synthesized it let me simulate it let me simulate it so again i am telling you default case is uh, is uh, is uh, optional one you can have it or you may you, you may not have it it works fine and output v because v is outside the always if output is not inside the always no need to declare it as register whereas uh, out is uh, inside the always hence you need to declare it as registers so I restart it, uh, give the input value as 10000. So I run it, zoom to fit, minimize it just to check. When i of 3 bit is 1, so it will be 111. Now I make 0001. So what should be the value now? It should be 00, I guess. So valid bit is 1. Now what I do is, I just give i3 also as 1, i0 also as 1. Which one should be given highest priority? i0 should be given the highest priority. Hence, your output stays at 0, 0 and which is valid 1. Now, what I do is, I, I make uh, the i value to be 0, 0, 0. All the uh, inputs are 0, so there is no key pressed. So, in that cases, your output is 0, 0, but how to differentiate between the valid valid input and no input? There is a valid uh, there is valid output so valid output is zero here so hence it is not a valid output so until here it is valid output to have the valid output mandatorily one of the input key should be pressed so this is all about uh, priority four is to two uh, encoder so you can try the same with uh, without priority and with priority eight is to three encoder and all those things check the functionality in the Xilinx environment uh, we'll see you in the next video to keep updated kindly subscribe my channel thank you.